Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. She's posting pictures with a black man. And I like that, whether he was white or whatever, but a black man, because a black man honestly is helping to restore herself. Some women need that. Little Kim has always needed that. I've, I've listened to her interviews. I've heard her speak on why she feels like, you know, she needs to lighten her skin, wear, you know, makeup shades that are three shades lighter because she felt in her spirit she was Puerto Rican. And when she was coming up, a lot of black men preferred light-skinned women over her. You've seen the love of her life, Biggie. You know, fuck her for years, but as soon as Faith came along, he married her within a day. And so it did something to her spirit. So she wanted to be something other because she was trying to please a man. Okay? Not realizing that you don't have to live your life pleasing a man. But she did. There's a lot of women that do that. And so when I saw her post this picture, look closely at it, and her skin color is the same as his, for everybody that says she was bleaching, she wasn't bleaching. She was just lost for a second, okay? I, I, I believe she was wearing a little bit of bleaching cream, but she was honestly, because I looked at her hands, because her hands didn't match her face. Her face was like lighter than her hands. And so I knew right then she had requested that her makeup artist put lighter foundations on her. Then she would use filters on Instagram to make herself look lighter. But it's all because she didn't love herself and she didn't have a black man. Partly because that's the reason why she's having a light-skinned kid too. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of women do that. They don't want their kids to go through what they went through as a black woman. And so they intentionally date someone light-skinned just so their kid will come out lighter so they don't have to suffer like they did. And that's exactly what she did. But now she's in love with a brother who's telling her, bitch, I don't want you coming to bed looking like damn, uh, uh, uh. I don't want your ass coming to bed looking like no white woman. You are a black woman. You ain't Puerto Rican because you know she thinks she's Puerto Rican. I don't know why all these black women in damn New York and shit think they Puerto Rican and everything. You're not. You're black. You know goddamn Afro-Latina. You black. Okay? Hold your blackness. So I just wanted to show her some damn love. See what that root dick will do for you? It'll bring you back to who you were. And that's the little Kim. That is the little Kim we fell in love with. I don't know who that other bitch was. Okay? So y'all show damn little Kim some love. Wendy and Charlemagne, my favorite goddamn couple. Y'all know he hit that pussy. <laughs> now listen, I was looking at that photo. I was looking at that photo. And I don't know if you studied this picture because Wendy and Charlemagne put the picture up. But I think he took it down because of this reason here. Take a look. Hold on for a second. You know, wifey's public. Wifey's public. And I can't help to think that his wife, because, you know, Charlemagne don't bring his wife out too much. But I can't help to think how much his wife look like her here. You know who she is? You know who she is? Jessica Reed. Jessica Reed, if you go to Charlemagne's uh, uh, profile now, I mean, it's, it, look, before I get into that, it's, it's really interesting how much the wife looks like the girl that he supposedly raped. I'm just putting that out there. I'm just putting that out there. I don't know if anybody's picked that up. Mm -hmm. mm. Just wanted to put a bird in here. But anyway, back to Wendy and Charlemagne. Do you know that he's standing beside a wig? That's not Wendy. Mm -mm. Somebody from her studio called me. Mm -mm. That's not Wendy. That's that's actually her wig. But I, I'm I'm sitting here thinking I'm like, well, you know, did he did he bust a nut in it? Did he bust a nut? You know, him and Wendy have a past. Y'all may not believe it. Like I was telling y'all during that OG segment, the segment before this. Just because everybody says she ugly, she still got a pussy, and a man will tell you anything. And everybody know that Charlemagne used to hit that pussy, supposedly. And probably still hitting it now. But I wanted to point out that was not Wendy. Wendy took the picture and that's the wig. And it came down because you know why? Wifey 
They ain't having that shit. Moving on, moving on. We just, I want to get to the good stuff. I want to get to the good stuff. To all of Dr. Sabi's followers, I've got something for y'all. You all are going to discover the untold and never before heard story of one of the most important healers of our time in Abelardo Guerrero Jr.'s book, his right hand man, titled My Journey with Dr. Sabi. Visit www.drsabibook.com. 504.com to order your copy now.